If somebody goes to zero... Lets you get a hit point back and stand up like I did in the first session. Yeah, 20 counts like you getting one hit point back, so it's like second wind, guts, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, there's no sense of negative hit points in this. They kind of... It, it, it kind of feels like it took them five editions of the game to figure out how they wanted to handle that kind of death's door kind of rules. So, um, Taryn, you are alive, conscious, but you're still prone. You're still yep. laying on the ground. So you can take yep. half of your move action next turn to stand up. See, Fred did something. A round of applause for Fred, everybody. He finally, Yay! after three sessions, did something useful. Also, Taryn, you still have that bardic inspiration die. Why not? Okay. Oh, snakes get a turn. I'm sorry, you're just going to get eaten again. That's my bad. Let's... <laughs> I compose a short, melodic poem in favor of Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hanging out back here with my gunpowder. Don't mind me. Um, this... Did that end your, your... Your AC, Terran? That's just from armor. You don't have, like, mage armor up or anything, right? Nope, just a shield and That's armor. That's straight 16. So that misses, and that misses. So just to be clear, you do or don't want a fire dragon to start shooting things back then. <laughs> um, the, the snake uh, rears forward and tries to take a big bite out of Terran. He thinks Terran is down is an easy meal, but Terran's eyes snap open and he rolls out of the way and the snake just gets a big bite of stone as he bites into the gravel of the floor. Mm -mm. The other snake is trying to squeeze his way in, forces his head into the opening and takes a few snaps at Adric, but he just does not have the space. Good. Keep it that way. You guys got him bottlenecked real good. That's good. I'm glad we did this. This was a good idea. This was a good idea. We're uh, full of good ideas. Taryn, you get to take an action. Um, I'll spend half my movement to stand up. Okay. Ugh. So you can go uh, two. How... You can go two squares or five squares with the dash action. Yeah. Uh, how how does Fred look pretty sturdy on his feet right now? Fred is missing no hit points. He looks. He looks hunky dory. He's got his sword out. He's ready to take your place if you want to retreat. Misty step. To where? Uh, <laughs> that's too far back. Three, four, five, six is here. That's fine, but uh, you don't have you don't have line of sight to this square. Oh. From okay. where you're at, because you've got this uh, obstruction well then, right here. Okay, so let me do this then. I'll stand up mm -hmm. and I'll take a swing with my long sword. Okay. Go ahead and roll it. I mean, you're going to sustain damage from this. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're going to sustain aura damage. It's got an ice aura. Oh yeah. What's his D? What's his D eight for? That's my damage would die. Oh okay. How bad? Rolling is hit right is to hit and damage at the same time. Um, it's up to a D six, so it's not enough to kill I you guess. outright. You missed. Yep. You take a swing with the sword. Uh, Actually, a, you only take points. you only take the aura if you hit with a melee yeah. attack. So you're do fine. Do I have to make a dex to not fall down? You do. I spend the other half of my movement to stand back up, <laughs> and then I bamf out of there. One, two, three. You, the furthest four, you can get five. back in this cave is this square right here. That's as, this is as far back as you can go. You Why is that? You don't have line of sight around the corner from this square. Uh, Does he need line of sight to stay a distance? Well, you guys were talking over each other. Can't you just stay at a distance in direction? I'm looking it up right now. Pretty sure it's a, it's a, it's a space you can see. Uh, I know Dimension Door, you can stay to distance. I have to check Misty Step. Yeah. I'm... I'll check. I'll check. You guys can continue. I'll let you know. I'm either in one of those two squares. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Terran jumps to his feet, and he takes a wobbly <laughs> swing at the snake, but misses wildly. I mean, he's he, he was unconscious for all of ten seconds. He was out and then back up again, and he falls again and lands on his rump. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, Dimension Door, you can just stay at a distance in a range, but Misty Step has to be a square you can see. Uh, page 260 for Misty you Step. You can see, okay, yep, you can but see, you can I just see. got it. Uh, I'll go back here. I, I know this because my Warlock has both Misty, Misty Step and Dimension Door. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have space for Dimension Door on the spell list, but... I right, spell, here's my shit. Zook, you looting? <sighs> so... This didn't, my banana did not go as well as I planned. I, I didn't account for the fact that I don't, have no idea. Your banana went just fine, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> if we live through this, it's a really big deal. <laughs> I'm way down with the idea of plenty of flammable objects being in this world. <laughs> the problem is, my in-character knowledge is I don't know what this is. Otherwise, I would fucking roll it right in front of the dragons and have you blast it with the fireball. Yeah. But that doesn't make any, that doesn't make any sense. Listen, we'll get to that in yeah. another session. We'll Zook, get to that. Zook has no idea what this is, so 
No, yes. no, no guys, let's let's be clear. Girls. This is McLean's first brush with PC knowledge, and he passed admirably. Everybody, give McLean yeah. a round of applause Yay. for Thank not you. for you. not metagaming when he had the chance. No, I. I... <laughs> I, I have not played the D and D before, but I have read enough about it to know how in game knowledge goes. So, awesome. Take a turn. Do something. Um, um, I'm going to let's see. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. From your position, if you're looking for a ranged attack, you could hit either yep. snake, but both of them have half cover, so it'd be disadvantage on the. From where I'm at already. If you don't want to move at all, if you want to take a missile attack from there with your bow, you could hit, but if it's going to be disadvantage on the roll because they both have. They're both pretty well covered from where you're at. If I move to, I guess even if I move up to like here, I can't, I can't hit him from there. Uh, actually, same Rick, deal. Uh, cover is an AC bonus. It's one of the few numeric bonuses left in the game. What's the bonus? The half cover is plus two. Full okay. cover is three quarters is plus five, and full cover can't be hit. This one has half cover, Zook. This one would have three quarter cover from this position here. I mean, from here to back here is pretty much the same because you're shooting through this little tight space here and it's full of people that you don't want to hit with an arrow presumably well i can only move up four and take a shot that's right so so yeah you can hit them but they have an ac bonus on this attack. more than anything i want to know if i can hit them you can but like i said it's gonna be more difficult because you got a lot of obstacles in your way that's okay because i want to take a hit and then i'll take my bonus to move closer for the next time around so let's take a swing at them from here so you said it's disadvantage no, it's uh, they get plus the one on the left gets plus two to AC. The one on the the right gets plus five to AC. Right. It's one of the few numeric bonuses left, but it's actually still pretty good because you can still sneak attack since you See, don't have disadvantage. And that was an instance of me forgetting the rule in the book and just making something up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, either so way I'm works though. Hopefully hit them and then get them with sneak attack. So that'll hopefully still yeah, be pretty good next damage. To Adrian, they so. are next to Adric, Yes. Okay, that, that's so, the reason I care is you can't sneak attack with disadvantage. So I wanted to point that no, out. No, that's good call. Oh, that is a good so call. You're right. Oh, good, I rolled two, so fuck that. So, okay. So, um, yeah, you, but I'm going to take my bonus action to move four steps closer, just so I can have some sort of bearing on this. Okay. Hopefully That's, soon. And you, I did leave... So you're making this an object, right? I mean, the, the, this, the walls this, are shaped just like they're laid out here. So, like, in this square you're standing in, we're ruling that you're just, like, pressed right up against the corner here. That's fine. This is why and it's this, so it's difficult to launch an arrow out of here. And it, actually, your arrow just clatters off of this wall here and falls to the ground. You just and to be clear, can't get a good beat. This gunpowder I found is a object that you left back here that's not in my inventory. Uh, you didn't take anything. So everything that no, I read I, off that list is still stacked up back there. That's right. I didn't want to take an extra turn. Though I know, I know, and let's say I calm link it to them, tell them there's an extra potion of healing back there if anyone needs it. That's the only thing I remember that was particularly useful. Well, you can calm link specifically to Terra. You can't calm link to anybody else. But yeah, that's fine. You can do that as a free action. Adric! Switchboard's a little busy. Please try again later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Do you, like, have to reinstate that on as an action? No, it's, it doesn't take an action to use it. Okay. It's just I've been casting spells and stuff, so... Gotcha. <laughs> Adric is sitting on his butt. Is he gonna do something here? Like, literally on his butt. You're prone. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass up. Okay, Spend you get up. I'm moving again and then punch this guy in the, in, in the jimmy. The snake oh. jimmy. You, 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 do snakes even have jimmies? You don't know. I don't know, but if it does, I just punched it. For <laughs> use, my, use my mage hand to rustle that snake. Where's, where's he rolling at? I can't even see. Oh, up here. I'm over here by my by my name. Okay. Uh, so, so that's seven. Wait, is, is uh, this your roll action. here? This? Oh, you're rolling this no. one. I was going to say, you didn't hit on it, yeah. too. Let's see. So seven damage, bonus action to hit again. Not going to flurry this time. Uh, 17 plus four. Uh, is another six damage. So okay. seven and six is 13. 13 total? Yep. And you take 9 from the retaliatory cold damage. Of course I do. And I, well, again, you're just rain blows down on this snake, and you're getting good dents, and it scales, and you're feeling the mushy pulp of its blood and muscle as it, you're getting it about its neck and face, but it's freezing cold, and your arms are... Yeah. Eventually you have to pull back, and y your arms just feel numb, like your fingers could just shatter off Little the palms of your here. hands. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying. The creature is bloody. This thing is looking real nasty right now. I mean, it's you've got one of its eyes hanging out of the socket. It looks like it's bitten through its own tongue at this point. It's not a happy Good. camper. Good. El Eldove. All right, so I'm going to just peek around this corner here. So I'm just going to... Put yourself where you want to be. Can I just stay, like, for the length of an attack, switch with him and then switch back? 
Yeah, that's fine. I mean, assuming he's, assuming he's willing. Assuming he's willing up to... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, when it goes time to switch back, he's just like, oh, actually... <laughs> no! <laughs> I like my little wall here. No, I'm good right where I'm at. So what are we doing, yeah. Firebolt? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a Firebolt. Taryn, I can't believe you're, like, just enabling this guy to be a wimp. <laughs> that, so that's a 18? Yeah, that should hit. That hits. And... Yep. Okay. Ooh. Nine. And that's fire damage, obviously. And, wow. I mean, you just blow this thing's head off. Your fireball Good. just hits it square in what's left of its jaw. The top of its head just shears off, and it clumps to the ground, and you see the scales of it. They don't melt and slide off, but they lose their frosty luster that they had a moment ago, and the thing is just totally dead. Just call Good. me Kill Stealer? Yeah, I did. Uh, and then I'm gonna duck back into the corner. Of course. <laughs> so... That's perfectly fine. We'll do that. See, that, 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 the kind of shit there, that's the kind of shit you can't do under the 3.5 or 4E rules. You can't do that without taking a bunch of minor actions or whatever, but it's much more yeah. fun to just house rule it away, let him take the shot. So that's, that's how I roll. I like the theater yeah, of the mind 5e's style. Yeah, 5 is actually really good about, like, everyone basically has spring attack. 5e is a lot better about that in general, even without the house rule. Yeah, but... Yeah. But, like, if I didn't have that, he would have had to move through his space. Oh, and move yeah, out yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It would have been a pain. Yeah, it'd be a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Alright, so, yeah, the Sahagin, seeing that one of the snakes is laying on the ground, smoldering, uh, moves up behind it. And Fred busts out his loot, strums a Fred. few notes about Adric's insatiable muscles and dwarven battle lust, etc., and yep. you get a D6 Bardic Inspiration. That's the last one he can give. If, if I uh, if I lived in my turn, that is. Well, no, I am. I mean, it's your turn. Oh, I want to drink your greater well. healing potion. Yeah. This I'm going to delete this one. I mean, it's corpse is laying there, but I need the yeah, space. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. This, the, yeah. the second snake crawls on top of the first. Like, <laughs> that was fun. Oh, it's on the grid. That's why it happened. Grid off. Apply. See, so, yeah, the second snake gets up in here. It puts his butt in my face. It's actually gonna, yeah, so it's gonna, I, it'll, it'll so, tail swipe. That's that's fine. Tail swipe is fine. So good, it's snake butt in my face. I love it. So it swings its tail at you, and you just duck right on. I mean, you're a dwarf. You don't have to duck very much, but yeah, I mean, you, you feel the tail whip by the. What's the status of your head? Like the hair on top of it? I know the beard is unkept. What's it like up top? Well, I've had time to take care of the beard. The beard, the beard is looking pretty fine. <laughs> oh, the beard is good. All right, got a sexy little beard there going on. Oops, I didn't mean yep. to zoom all the way out. Let's get back in there. But yeah, this tail—I mean, you feel it just swipe the hairs just off the top of your head, but no damage, not a hit. No damage to your beard. Roll no damage good. to the beard, Taryn. That is that is important. Oh, I really want to heal here, but I have a feeling we need to use non-melee attacks on these snakes. So uh, let's elder blast the bitch. There you go. Rather be casting false life. Don't forget, you still have a die. Yeah. Um. I am going to use. Whoa! Wait. No, that's a uh, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen will hit. Yep. For and the die cannot apply to damage, right? No. That's a bar Boy, feature later on for one force damage. Just one force damage. I don't get a bonus. That looks like a seven. Nope. That's totally a one. That is that's a one. Yeah. Okay. The seven's on the other side. And. It's like, I mean, you spent the last second or so trying to make room for. Eldov to duck out and throw a bolt, so you really don't have a lot of time to get the spell together. Get out. You just clip its uh one of the spines on its back and tear it off, and it goes ricocheting off a back wall. And I'll move back a bit because I'm. Still don't worry about it, Terry. We'll uh we'll call that one. I got a half half seat. <laughs> I, I, punch, I punched my mic. That was bad. Zibbity zibbity zook. That's the end of uh yeah. That's the end of my turn. All right, I'm going to step right here. Okay. And shoot an arrow. Okay, it's got half cover because Adric is right in your way. God damn it, Adric. I've That's been funny. doing work. I don't want you freaking <laughs> swearing at me. I've been doing work up here. You Wait, he's shooting an living. arrow, and Adric's a dwarf. I mean, Wait, yeah, but, I that dude's hat. but yeah, Zook is a gnome. Yeah, and I'm what? also apparently having really bad luck today. That's only a nine. Wait, where was your roll at? It's over here. That's a four plus five, so I got nine. Okay. And you Do get an arrow. Seriously, provide cover though for enemies. 
Sure. I thought we were playing before that they weren't, but I don't remember. I don't remember either. But it makes sense in this passage that he absolutely does. And if he wasn't a gnome, I would probably rule otherwise, but oh, he I is just, a gnome. <laughs> and I'm going to bonus action myself right back in the corner here. What we, what we didn't do is... There we go. Now you're a gnome. Hey. <laughs> here, just get up on my shoulders. Just, just ride around. We The, 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 the one 4E game we played, one of the characters was a dragonborn, the other was a gnome. And they actually built, like, a battle harness so he can ride it around <laughs> up on his shoulders. <laughs> so, and now good. I'm more sad that Warren X turned out to be a douche. Yeah, well, he is. Um, a valiant effort, Zook. Um, Adric, why don't you show these guys how it's done? Well, I don't know. I've, I've, been, I've been eating a lot of damage, so I think I need to step back and, uh, and chug, chug a potion. What uh, is your HP at? You have Nine? to, you have to oh, disengage. The main, thing, the main thing is he could kill himself dri by... Uh, Punching, punching the it. dude. That's yeah. true. But I, you have to take a disengage still... action to get out of there, though. If you don't, yeah. it gets an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah, I am taking a you disengage. Are? Okay, so you just disengage and move back. Adrian's yep. still showing 18, by the way. Is yeah, he? I am. My bad. Yeah, that's why I didn't realize he was so close to death. What are you no, at, Adrian? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm at 9. 9. Because I took 9 uh, cold damage from that last, uh, from my last flurry of blows. Cool I story, bro. I to take away my arrows, by the way. So that's another arrow gone. Eldove, you, yeah, you have 20, and you can resupply pretty much any during, during downtime. We're not going to... Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a long battle for it to matter. The rule is you can, unless there's a reason not to, you can uh, recover half of the arrows you spent during an encounter. Unless it just doesn't make sense. Like, if you fire them off the side of the boat, you're not going to go diving for them. But in this cave, any arrows you spend after the encounter is over, if you take an action, I'll let you recover half of them. And then when we get back to the boat, we're just assuming we have arrows. You got lots of arrows back on the boat. For days. Eldov, okay. why don't you got? Why don't you show this how it's done? I'm gonna pop over to the left a bit, right a bit, spend okay. one move to get there, and then fire at this dude. Okay. Pew pew. I like this. We're we're, we're basically playing a, uh, you know, a cover system shooter right now. <laughs> we are. This is the yeah. We're playing freaking Mass Effect here. That will I, hit. I hit his that, ass. Yes, it does. Yeah, we're playing Mass Effect up in here. Three damage. Okay. Fire well, damage. You lost the firebolt, and the snake is very wary of the flame, and it tries to duck underneath it, but the snake is so big, and the firebolt, like, it clips along its back, sends a few more of its spines flying, and you can smell the charred flesh of snake fill the air. And you call paramedic and ask what it tastes like. And what then is, I'll say, uh, say, have fun, McDole. I'm going back here. <laughs> you, you giant toilet. Later. <laughs> And the Sahagwin moves forward, jabs Fred with, her, with the tridents. Oh yeah, sorry Fred, we kind of abandoned you. <laughs> oh, he hasn't had a, he hasn't he hasn't had a turn to move back yet, so he's just standing there playing his loot for now. Fred's a punk. Jabs with the trident, but Fred deftly avoids her. Well done, sir. Good job, Fred. Now have fun with the snake. <laughs> Fred, get out of there. <laughs> Fred, call it that name I told you. <laughs> Alright. Now, the snake's gonna take a bite out of Fred. I thought Fred was before the snake. Yeah, oh, you're right, Fred, Fred is before, before the, the snake. snake. That's fine. Come on, Fred. Fred doesn't get an action. You guys don't like him anyway, now you have to watch him die. No, he's gonna, no he's gonna, I love Fred. He's gonna disengage and move back behind the wall. The snake begins squeezing into this passage, and it's gonna make it through, but it's very difficult for it to fit. It looks like it can just barely wriggle its body in here and snap at you. You're not sure about this cutoff right here, but that's what it does. It spends its turn wriggling on in here. And again, advantage against a squeezing creature in this edition? Is that how that works? I, I'm i going to say not. Okay. It is a snake, so it's not like an ogre fitting its way in there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually have like appendages or wings or anything. It's just a, a right. fat snake a fat around the middle then at the end is kind of slithering along the ground but it does take up almost the whole and it's not so much that there's not enough space it's that the walls are so jagged in this area but the walls are also very brittle so I mean the walls are kind of shaping itself as, to the snake's body as it moves towards you but it gets this far and it takes a few snaps at you Adric but it can't get a bite good Terran. snakes uh, expand to fit the shape of their container uh, that's right <laughs> that's... I think I'm going to cast false life <laughs> that's a Thermogal's uh, fourth principle of snakes 
6 temp HP. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, put it in here. Movement. I will move up. That's the end of my turn. Zook! Alright, um... I lost track of Zook because he's so small. He doesn't need to be that small. He can, there you go. Yeah, don't make me that small. It <laughs> makes it hard to see me. Um, is he still, he's still obstructed if I shoot loose an arrow at him, isn't he? Um, no, because he or, occupies this square right here and you're adjacent. Okay, cool. And, uh... We'll say you got a clear shot uh, from this point here. Cool. Alright, well I'm definitely going to In fact, to we have a tool to draw a line of sight. I just noticed we had that. We have yeah. a t we have an easy tool to yeah, draw a line of sight. Okay, cool. Have a distance what tool, tool is yeah. this? There's tab a line tab. tool on the side, and you can just kind of down tab, basically, drag it over. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, okay. you can just tap it while not move without moving the mouse. You get the arrow, but if you drag it, you get the line. And you can target any part of the the shape, right? Like you don't have to target the center. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like from this position, Zoot can get a good shot off at it, like easily. All right. And uh, but and he's got uh, plenty of people crowded around them, so I should so I get my sneak attack. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Alright, let's hit him this time. How'd you do? Seven to plus five, twelve. Snake attack? Twelve hit him? Yes. A snake attack? <laughs> and it's been so long <laughs> since I've actually got a hit. Uh, bow is d6, that's right. Where's my d6 at? What's your sneak attack damage? Uh, 1d6 right now. And I hit him for a two plus three, so that's five. Plus... Nine. Nine total? Yeah. And then after I shoot that arrow at him, I'm going to just sweep right over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I like this party. And you can also hide because your bonus action. He can't because um, he, he would have to disengage to get away from there because he's adjacent what? to the creature for, from this square. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no, he, he could disengage and then move or he can move, eat the attack of opportunity and then hide. Well, wait, can he disengage with his movement? Oh, no, that's an action. Yep, nope. yep. Yeah, so I disengage and move. Okay. But yeah, you get you pull out your bow, and you're 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 friggin' seven feet away from this monster, and it's wriggling through, and it's basically a stationary target. And you're like, if I miss this one, I'm going to quit adventuring. I'm going to go <laughs> home and be a family man. Loose this arrow, and you get it deep. goes right in between the scales on its back. And it rises head back, lashes back in pain, and crashes the top of its head against the ceiling of this uh, cavern. Ooh, and then you good. think that's a good uh, opportunity to peace out and get down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my MO for the rest of the game, guys. <laughs> leave, leave Hadrick to get devoured. I, lo I love it. I have a question. Okay. That's kind of... You know how you could delay attacks in 4E? No, I don't could... really. Oh, well, uh, could Adric, like, set up an attack such that the the condition was if the snake is not dead? I mean, he could. He could I'm ready an saying, action. Well, yeah, he could say, I'm just saying, like, if you wait until I attack, maybe I can kill it and then you don't have to take the friggin' melee. Why damage. do I have a... Oh, uh, why do I have a six in a parentheses over here? Do you have a six? Did I That's give that... Terran. My god, I'm an idiot. Hold on. I'll fix it. Uh, I that's... keep thinking that's ter he's Adric too because Ad oh, Terran was first. Last took, a, time. took a screenshot. I'm an idiot. There we go. Um, <laughs> what, what he could do is he could he could use the ready action. Say, okay, I'm gonna ready an attack. I'm gonna punch the snake if Eldov throws a firebolt and it's still alive. Like he could do that. Like that for, seems like a smart thing to do about yeah. now. For the ready but... action, you state a specific condition and a specific action, and then whenever that condition is filled, you automatically take that action. Okay. So yeah, Adric, you have that as an option well, if you see, want. Here's the thing, though: is uh, if I hit that thing again, I'm probably going to die, and I don't want to do that. So I'm. What, I think you my, should just drink your potion. My better sense is to back off and drink potion. Yeah. Okay. That seems okay too. You have to disengage if you want to move away from it, though. It did try to attack yeah, you, you on its last probably... turn. God, you're a fucking toilet. <laughs> okay. So you can back, right, you can I'm disengage out, and back I'm off. By, I'm gonna have to uh, hang out by the explosive barrel so that way someone can shoot it and it kill me. That'll awesome. be good. Uh, <laughs> and the thing's looking like really bad though. Like it's, it's in a bad. Like it looks like it's regret starting to get in here. Like it's struggling a lot. It's missing scales. It's got an arrow that's bleeding profusely. Eldo, finish it off. All right, I'm gonna shoot it right in the mouth. Ooh, we awesome. still have that other thing in the back that's gonna fire another hyper beam at us. 
Well, that's gonna do it. That definitely hits. Who knows if it has another hyper beam? I'm giving it an AC penalty because it's so it's so squished in here right now. Two, Two fire damage. And yeah, you blast the thing with a firebolt. And again, you're you're aiming right for its head. And again, you just shear this thing's head, and you hear ice crystals shattering as its scales fall apart. And then it just its carcass just slumps to the ground, blocking the exit. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna do uh, another fist pump as free action. That's cool. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move the fuck back. <laughs> Oop, still on the grid. We need to fix that. Fred, um, you guys are pretty badly wounded back there. Yes. Well, I'm not. Up. I'm beat up. Adric I'm is. at full HP. Good. My clothes aren't even dirty. Adric is, been... yeah. Okay. Adric's taking a lot of a lot of, of, of a lot of cold damage. Fred's gonna come back and cure your wounds. That's I nice. I thought of after him. all your dancing with Wardrick that you're uh you are immune to cold by now. <laughs> or Warnax. A Warnax. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, it didn't work. Science science didn't happen, unfortunately. Didn't didn't use science correctly. I did not use science correctly. You I get feel terrible. Seven hit points back. Let me go ahead and give those to you. Seven? Yeah. Baller. Not nine hundred and sixteen. My goodness, that doesn't work. There we go. I think that's Adric, not Terran, right? Yeah, okay. And so that was Fred's turn. It comes back around to the snakes. The snakes are dead. Let me go ahead and take them off the sheet. We really don't need snakes on the sheet anymore, I don't think. Boop. Let me take these motherfucking snakes. So but its carcass is still blocking the exit. You could wriggle around it, or you could push it back out, but it would take some strength and it would take some doing. And right now it's Terran's <sighs> turn. Man, I um, wish I had some player knowledge on that dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just think out loud. <laughs> and the, uh, can I see the Shahagan from here or not? Yes, you saw her retreating, looking through. I mean, if you if you go to look, yeah, you'll see her retreating. Also, everybody can make a whiz save DC 10. Not save, wisdom check. I keep saying save when I mean check, because I'm not used to... Can she, uh, can she see me right now? I, you, I don't, you, you don't know what she can see. You're going to ask okay. her? <laughs> Who made the wisdom I got save? A, I got a natural 20. Natural 20? Then you know right away, when you notice that it's going to be difficult to make it out of this passage, you know these walls are very brittle, and this one especially is very thin. You could probably make a passage for yourself there if you took a few turns chipping at it with uh, a crowbar or a hammer or something like that. I'm going to move to here and drink one of my healing potions. That's 2d4 plus 2 hit points, my friend. That'll be the end of my turn. Okay. I'm going to tell the others over the mind link I'm going to get on top of that of her as soon as... Uh, I'll, I'll get on top of her. You guys punch your way out. So that was five hit points back? Yep. Okay. All right. Back around to Zook. Um, well, I could... I don't really want to scamper over this thing and then be exposed. You actually gonna could get... scamper over it, to be honest. You could probably climb up and over it. It would take you a full... Well, it would probably take you two turns, because even with your bonus action, climbing, getting across the difficult terrain, then up and over the snake, and then down the other side safely. But we'll say you can make it because you're a small-sized creature. Three... Let's see, that'd be a normal movement, would be four, and but then, then could dash. It, it would be a climb action to get up over the snake, and that halves your movement again. So where could I get to about, to about here? The maybe? end of the turn, you could probably get like up on top of the snake, squeezing your way through to the other side. Okay, so can I get up here, but and then kind of hide? I mean, you can try to hide up on top of the snake, sure, if you want to get up there and make a hide action. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what have you Everything done? Everything is broken. Zook? <laughs> Zook? You're, you're not. Sorry, you're not. You're my friend anymore. Is making things difficult. I know. All right. I'm anyways, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to do that. So let's say I. Let's say I move, dash, and then hide. Here, okay, let's do this then. The let's snake is actually... taking up this space here, kind of wriggled in there. So Zook, you can get up in on top of the snake, but nobody else can move into these squares without pushing the snake back through or chipping away the wall and making another passage. Um, eh, you know what? That actually doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to actually come right here, and then I'm hiding. And I rolled a 16, so I'm pretty well hit. 16 plus 5. Uh, Adrian, how, how much of the gunpowder do you drink on your turn? All of it. All of it. You <laughs> guzzle this keg of gunpowder down, and now you're Explosion Man. 
<laughs> what do you what do you what do you really do? What do I really do? After after thinking uh, after thinking uh, Fred for that wonderful bit of healing, knocking him over, I'm gonna get right up on here okay. and get ready to roll. Like once uh, once Taryn gets out of the way, I'm gonna start trying to bash through this freaking wall. Eldov, doing anything? Uh, so when I cast fireball on that snake before, it started to melt, right? It, it it had the appearance of melting, but it's not actually made of ice. But you saw it like a frozen aura around it that dispersed. The, oh, okay. So you're saying if I cast fireball on this dead snake, I can't I can't melt the snake. You, you couldn't melt it. You might blow more holes in it. It might be very satisfying. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. If you want to do it, go ahead and roll it. I'll say if you do ten damage to the snake's corpse, you blow a hole through, and people can just walk through the broken corpse. <laughs> <laughs> If you yeah, if you get ten damage on the roll, you've destroyed enough of the carcass that people can get by without uh, having to move Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I was I'm not expecting you to fight the I'm snakes in this friggin' hallway. <laughs> this turned out to be well, really weird. Oh, I got nine. You got nine. You blow a it's big chunk. Fire damage though. <laughs> oh, that's true. So it's actually eighteen damage. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you throw a fire bolt forward, and you. Blow scales and muscle matter off of this snake's carcass, and <laughs> it looks gross as hell. But you could tromp through those guts if you wanted to get through there. Absolutely. By the way, your golden robes are covered in blood now. <laughs> Absolutely, you were just have snake splatter all up and down your body. It's really gross. I, hey, listen. While in combat, that's <laughs> matter. But once this is over. Are you going to use your magic uh, tr spell to get rid of the snake guts? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll back the fuck away from that horrible snake. Okay, so now, now you guys have free passage out here, and... Wonderful. <laughs> so this... this like, Zahagen, Zahagen has vanishes passage. out of sight. You have no idea where oh. the Zahagen vanished off to. I mean, you yeah. guys have limited vision. You really can't see further than out here anyway, because you've got this obstruction in the way. But once you move out here, you might be able to see where she went. Ugh. And it is whose turn? Fred. Fred's turn. Fred's up. Fred is hanging back. He's sticking with you guys. Fred, you should go through that snake. Do you say? <laughs> do you say that to him? Absolutely. He says, "After you, gorgeous." <laughs> so uh, one, so two, three, four movement. That's my move for the turn. Right. Okay. And getting out there, you can actually see where she made it to. And she's having the same kind of difficulty getting across the ice. She can move a little farther than you because she's got claws digging down into the ice as she moves, but this is not the Sahagan's natural habitat by far. Does she uh, have cover from here for me? Let's find out. I mean, yeah. Yes, she does. So that'd be plus two to her AC? I'm going to call that full cover because it goes straight okay. through a wall. Okay. Yeah, there's a wall right in here. So I mean, you could uh, you can see her in your peripheral vision, but you can't get anything straight sure. at her. And Zook, I've still got my action. Give me a second. Okay. Um, I drink a healing potion here. I kind of think I might drink my another healing potion. I've got two left. Okay. That'll be my action. Sure. Man, you're gonna have to go to healing and potions anonymous. Okay, so, so you don't know how many of these things I drink. Seven points. Oh, you got? yeah. Yep. That's so that brings you up to 19, right? Yep. And All you right, got to one healing potion. And you got six temp. Do I have that right? That's what you rolled on your false life? That's what I have on mine, too. Yep. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, Zook! All right, I'm going to move, and I'm going to dash, <laughs> and I'm going to get right up here. Zook backwards and... is coos. <laughs> coos. <laughs> oh, so good. And, uh, I'm and sorry. I'm, gonna... I'm sorry. I'm 13. And I'm gonna get in the, I'm gonna try to get in the cover again. Okay. Uh, Snake butt. And that'll be a twenty-one cover. Twenty-one. Adric. Pretty, co pretty stealth. Move on through. Go tromp through the snake guts. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's about all I can do because uh, difficult terrain. You can move four squares and take an action, or you can move seven squares. All right. Well, that's four. I'm gonna call that. I'm going to call that half cover, because you've got an obstruction kind of in the way here, and you've got another one here. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, if you want to use a ranged action, I don't know if you're doing something to hit, but, like, what are you doing? No, no, I'm, th I'm throwing a dart. Throwing a dart, yeah. And she's got half cover plus two AC. Let me get her AC on screen here. 
So you're looking to hit 14. Um, I rolled a natural 19, so... <laughs> well, then you got um, that dart in her. What's the damage on that dart? Uh, D4 plus 3. Do it. Uh, 5. 5. Whip out a dart. You sling it through, and you just thread the needle between the little uh, porous obstructions, the pillars and the walls and such, and you get her right in the back as she's retreating. You see right in the small of her back, and she kind of arches back a bit in pain. And that's that. It's running. Very much is. Elda. All right, I'm gonna head forward. One, two, three, four. Uh, can I hit it with fireball from here? Ah. Uh, you don't have to roll to hit with fireball, do you? Yeah, you do actually. Uh, I absolutely do. You do, and I'm you know I'm gonna call that the same as his dart. She's got half cover because you got you gotta kind of get it thread between these obstructions. But yeah, I'll rule that. You have to hit AC fourteen, and you'll hit with it. All right, I like those odds. Sahagin are not vulnerable to fire though, so it won't do double damage like it did to the snakes. Seven plus seven is fourteen. That is fourteen. So yeah, go ahead and roll that damage. Damn, the good bonus on those fireballs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my charisma is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, sorcerers use charisma. I was surprised how many different spellcasters use charisma in this game. So six. And that's six fire damage. And you blast her in the back, and some of these hides that she's wearing, these, these uh, like, whale or seal hides or some such, uh, singe and catch fire, and she starts shouldering them to the ground. And she disappears out of your sight. <laughs> and you she books it. Fred! Fred cheerfully comes up behind you guys. <laughs> cheerfully Hello, waiting Fred. through the viscera. Yeah, he's he's enjoying it. <laughs> hey, he said he would come after me. Taryn. Actually, look, judging by his position, he is currently standing inside the snake. Well, there's no room for move anywhere else, but yeah, he is... He's kind of... Moved here? Okay. Do and I you, see you do indeed. You see her. She has made it this far. But she's probably got cover from this uh, outcropping, right? Three quarters cover, we'll say. The plus five? It... Yeah. That's AC 17 if you want to hit her with something from here. Yeah. Plus five for me. But she's looking really hurt. I mean, she's singed badly. She's got a, She's bleeding from the wound in her back where that a dart has hit her. I hit the obstruction. Okay, AC 8. And you blast away part of the obstruction. I mean, the walls are brutal as hell. And you see as well, coming up into this chamber where she's entering, the walls look more made of ice, again, than of the uh, the porous material of the rest of the shell. Uh, looking back here, you see many pillars in this room reaching from floor to ceiling. Zook! Alright. I'm tired of this shit. One, oh God. two, three, oh, snap. four... You got uh, pissed Zook can off. Go. One, two. Zook's too old for this shit. <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure this. So I have to. I don't get my X second dash until after I take an action. So. If you move in, like, where you have line of sight from where Terran is, I'll give you the same uh, three quarters cover with a bow attack. So you have to hit AC 17 to hit her from there. One, two, three. The other yeah, thing you can do so is take a dash action and get closer to her and then have a better attack next round. But it's kind of, well, yeah, kind of way around. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get right here. Okay. And I'm going to try to hit it with an arrow. Okay. Yeah, AC seventeen. Who has Bardic Inspiration dice? Terran and Adric have them, right? Yep. I have one, yeah. Okay. Balls. Okay. Yes, yes. Mine, sixteen. My, they haven't You hit sixteen? You okay, get real so, close. You launch an arrow, and it clatters over her head. She has to duck under it, and it clatters against the wall just past her. And I'm going to take my bonus action to dash, so how many can I get on that? Another three or four? Um, four. One, two, three, four. So I still have a little bit of cover here. Okay. Okay. Why is that limited to the end of your turn? He has mm -hmm. to do it after an action. He has to use it as a bonus action after he takes an action. Right, so I can't him. say I can't, that. What's yeah, him? I can't dash, dash, then attack. I can dash, attack, dash. It just says you can take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat. I thought it said, I thought I did it after an action. 
Yeah, I thought it did too. We're going to rule it after an action until I have a chance to go back to the book tonight. But that's the sure. way I've been playing it all night. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Adric! Hey, Destel, you a munchkin, brother. I got my eye on you, Mr. <laughs> false Three. Life repeatedly. Four. Step up right here. <laughs> okay. And huck another dart at her. Uh, three quarters cover because you got this wall next to you. Well, no half cover. Yeah. You, can, you can poke your head around if you want. Yeah. AC 14. Plus 5, 12, plus it's at 16. That hits, yes. And uh, let's say 4 damage. 4 damage. You get another dart in her, and this time you get her in the neck, and it shears part of her ear off. She goes to her knee for a second and shrieks in pain, but then she gets back to her feet. Eldov. All right. I'm going to pop over here. Mind if I push you out of the way, Mikkel? So You can just move through it. Unless you're going to stand on his square, you can just move right through I, I, his, his square is the only place I can stand. Okay, then yeah, you can switch places and move him back. That's fine. And yeah, half cover with a ranged attack from there. Uh, actually, she seems pretty dead, so I'm going to go for the safe option. I'm going to lob an acid ball over there. Okay. So that's a D... 14 DC uh, dexterity save? Yep, I'm making it. Okay, go ahead and roll damage. It's actually DC 15, my bad. She rolled um, an 18, so she passes it. Okay, so I won't roll damage. Oh, well, doesn't it hit for half damage if she fails? Nope, acid ball, you don't you don't take damage if you okay. pass it. Ah. You lob this acid ball, and it just kind of explodes in front of Zook here. It doesn't even make it the distance. I mean, you, can't, you just can't get a good line. <laughs> You've got all these broken bits of wall in the way. Uh, okay. That's her. She rears back with this trident. She's looking bad. This is like her last stand. She's not happy. Zook, you're at full hit points, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm about to not be. <laughs> you, you are about oh, man, to not be. That's like true. I totally can cunning action out of order. I've been doing that wrong. I've been doing it the way you said it happened, so if it's wrong, it's well, your fault. Well, Zook, shut up, do shut up, shut okay. up, shut up, shut up, six damage. Okay. <laughs> she pokes down with this trident and just gets it like right around your tiny little neck, slices in between, picks you off the ground and reaches forward and takes a big bite out of your forehead. Wasn't that awesome? And she's standing there with the trident. She looks like she's about to do it again. But you are in quite a lot of pain. What did I say, six damage? Six damage, so I'm down to 12. I ask because Sahagwin get advantage if they attack somebody who is at less than max HP. It's a pretty cool ability. Uh, and roll a dex, ah. uh, dex save. Oh, shoot, because I got, took a hit. Yep. Uh, let's see, that's an 11 plus, what's my dex? I mean, you uh, got to be at 12, sec. so yeah, okay, you're Yeah, good. I got 14. So, I'm good. Do not fall to the ground, you're fine. Thank God. I just have a javelin in my neck. And Fred is going to keep pace. Well, we're back to Terran. Is it over, Terran? Oh, um, you, have you had enough? Yeah, I'm going to Had I'll enough of this shit. And let's see. Uh, let's use that Bardic Inspiration. Let's do it. <laughs> On your to hit. So that would be a plus five, uh, 20? 13. 13? Yeah. You rolled a seven? That's fine. Oh, yeah, you hit. Yep. You're fine. For 10 damage. Yeah, and you just, you see this Sahagin go for the ship mascot, and that's just, no, no, this will just not stand. And the captain darts forward, <laughs> brings down this log sword, and just lobs her head right off her shoulders. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Body slumps to the ground in the pile of scorched whale carcass or hide, and the trident clatters to the ground in front of her. Oh, oh, I'm tired. Zook! Um. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna drink a potion. Do it. 2d4 plus 2 hit points. And make sure you mark the potion off your sheet. I hope you guys are keeping track of that, because I'm not. Yeah, I am at least. I'm going to check D4 potions at the end two, of the night. Said? 2d4 plus 2. Alright. That's... 4 plus... Well, I'm back up to full. Okay. <laughs> You're only like missing eight. 6, so... Yeah, that's 10. Cool. Do you move, or you just chug a potion right there? 
Um, I'm going to check a potion, and then I'm going to... I'm going to move up here. Let's say here, and hug hug the wall. Okay, that's fine. And uh, I'm going to roll stealth just because. That's fine. Give me one second here, because you can see more of this room now. All right, I got uh, 20 on that stealth roll, in case anything wants to pop out at me. Now, stepping into this room, I'm looking around... I think next session I'm going to have two different texts with notes in it. One with the monster notes, one with the room notes. That way I don't have to keep scrolling. Um, it looks like a statuary in here. The walls of the chamber have given way to very thick ice. Um, that includes, like, all around the edges here. Actually, this card, that can go away too. All around the edges, and then there's pillars strewn throughout the room, a couple of them. Um, and, like, stalagmites coming out of the floor and stalactites coming out of the ceiling, and sometimes they meet to form pillars. And you see grisly shapes inside of the ice that you immediately identify as human mora human remains. Um, you don't see any intact bodies, but they're all frozen into the thick ice. Um, just parts, the torsos, but mainly, like, limbs, digits, extremities, just grotesque imagery like that. Uh, piles of loose bones dot the entire room. Uh, and you don't see any heads whatsoever. And I have line of sight to Taryn, so I'm going to go ahead and let him know what I see. That's fine. Lovely. <laughs> Adric. All right, first action. Bro fist with uh, Fred. Thank you for the healing, and then chug a healing potion. Okay. Yo, Fred is always up for a bro fist, yo. In fact, Fred's a bard, so he can bro fist at range. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you can do 30-foot range bro fist. 2d4 plus is that two, right? Free action? Only bards for bards. Are... Bards can only free action in the bro <laughs> fist at range. Uh, it's an, an extra six health for for me. My dog six. is spazzing. One second. <laughs> so you're, that brings you 24. Uh, 22 by my 20, count. 22. All right, that's fine. So is it 20? Is it 16? I had you at 16. Yeah. So 22. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm I'm looking in much better shape now. Oh, sorry, Zook. Eldove, well, you tried to take an action on your turn, but, you know, Adric knocked you over. He's like that. Now, what do you do? Well, first I rename myself because I was named Zook, right. which isn't right. <laughs> right. That dog is barking at everything. And then I... Make me go. Can I... <laughs> I'm going to take one step back, and is this a free action? I just want to take a quick glance in that direction. Look in here? Yeah, to see what I see. It's a little... You see it continue off into a little alcove. Um, uh, the porous walls, they, they seem to weaken in this direction. And to where they kind of give way to the inner bones of the, scale, or the, the shell entirely. And, like, the chamber tapers off and turns around a corner at the very end. Well, I don't see any good reason to not explore this real quick, so... Head in there? I'm going to... Just just this far. That's it? Yep. Is there and anything that I can... Uh, I mean, you, you look over here, here, and... You can see in here... You've got dark vision, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, <sighs> the difference is that the walls out here in Chamber 3, probably to about this area, start thinning inward until they just resemble the bleach white inner of the shell. So from here around about here, you just have the outer shell. There's no actual wall covering it. All right, I'm going to boop, pop that message over to Destal okay. on what I see over here. Okay. That happens. And uh, you know what? We can explore this later. I don't see any monsters over there, so no, there you don't see anything over there at all. And the so you're, you're the, the shell is there though. Like there is a wall. There is a wall. No, it's not just an open cavity. Okay. But you're then yeah. The rest of the place has had this like brittle, spongy material on the walls, whereas this is just the flat bone like you saw from the outside. All right. In that case, then I'll just spend my last move to move right here, and, and I'll, I'll end. Fred steps up next to you, Taryn. Um, as my action, I'm going to focus my detect magic on the corpse of the uh, Shahagan. Uh, on a corpse. Yep. See if there's many magical items. Nothing. Okay. Then I will move my four. Wait. 
I, I am going to send him a tele telepathic message just before he does that, telling him to check the trident. That's probably a good I, idea. I, I covered. I assumed it was everything that had fallen next to her. Like. Well, you said you checked her corpse, not the trident. Okay, sorry. The check, corpse check trident clattered next to her. Look, look over the body, including anything that she dropped when she died. I figured that was implied. No, it's not. <laughs> the, 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 dropped out of her hand and clattered to the floor. Yeah, the trident is definitely I, magical. Of course, you probably should I have already known that. I don't know how Brinkerhood's <laughs> mind works, so... I, no, if you, if you want to check the trident, want you got to say I checked the trident. You can't say I checked the corpse and... You jerk. But no, none, none of the things she was wearing was magical. The I mean, you're getting strong radiation just from every direction. Yeah, from everything, because but it, so I, that's why I have to focus on a specific thing. And you start um, moving into the grizzly body chamber. That's gross. And I'll, I'll, I guess, relay that if anyone wants a magical trident, we can grab it on the way out, in my opinion, but... Zook! I can't make much use of it. Oh, like well, we're absolutely going to take the magical trident. We're no, whether or not we use it has little to do with the fact that we're taking the magical yeah. trident. Yeah. Zook. zubbity dubbity Alright, um, I'm going to move and dash, and just, just peek, just peek around this corner. In this corner and, here? Like, get, and get into cover, as I do it. Okay, go ahead and roll your hide. Alright, my hide is a 17 plus 5, 22. Okay, looking in here... Give me one second. It's hard to see around the corner because of the shape of the walls. Yeah, I see that. But you see a block of ice. Right about here. I mm -hmm. didn't want that on the grid. It should I wish it would default to not on the grid. I wonder if there's an option setting. There probably is, but this chamber here, like you can see clearly there's a chamber in here, but it's completely walled in with ice. It doesn't look like it's accessible from where you are. And you see mm -hmm. a block of ice here, and inside of it, just like this room out here is the ice walls in case human remains, this particular pillar here encases an entire man. Uh, he's missing his right arm, and he's totally naked, not wearing a stitch of clothing. He's got a great ass, McDowell would appreciate it. And you can't see his face, he's got his back and his pert, ugh, supple buttocks facing you. <laughs> but he's completely encased in this, uh... Stalagmite of ice. Okay. Snake butt. I, I, I relay that to Terran, and with the uh, with the added, uh, I, I I tell him what I see and ask uh, if we reckon we might be able to thaw this guy out. Uh, you have a wall between you and Terran. I, um, oh wait, no, you don't. No, they're fine. They're fine. I was looking at that blue thing by accident. <laughs> no, if he was no, all the no. way in here, no, he wouldn't be able to. Uh, Adric, yeah, yeah. how you doing, man? Uh, I'm gonna come up along with these guys. I'll uh, I'll relay that to everyone and say, all right, guys, let's uh, let's get back in formation and move into this next chamber a little bit more organized. Okay. Well, it's Adric's turn right now. Eldov, you hear the order to get into an organized marching order. That seems fine to me. I'm just going to spend the the seven. Okay. I'm always fine with people behind me. Like, that's that's great. A friend ahead of me and behind Fred comes up behind you. Taryn! Alright, I'll go in front then. Um, I gotta wait for Fred to bring the light around. This will be my full action. Uh, yeah, you do. Uh, you Would can't, you like a you second torch? You can't see in that chamber at all. I guess I could, yeah, I could use my action extra to light another torch I'm carrying and hold it in my offhand for now. Okay, then yeah, you, then you see just the, what, you see what not, Zook sees in here. We haven't been exactly quiet. No, you haven't. And we been. fought the snakes, so. But yeah, no, you see yeah, what you see. You would actually have to walk into this chamber though to see the rest of it. Sure. That's well. My whole action is going to be movement and lighting the torch. Okay. Zook. Um. All right. How many Same. O's is that brick road? Thirteen. Okay. Why am I? Oh, I'm, I got them Thirteen. Old. That seems like a few too many. Is it excessive? All I'm right. sorry. I'm going I'm to rule do... lawyer that. Basically the same thing. I'm going to sneak all the way up here, and I'm going to go ahead and roll... I mean, I'm assuming that th that pillar is big enough for me to sort of hide behind, right? The the, the pillar that the man is in? No, it's translucent. It's so translucent? hiding, hiding okay. behind it would be a bad idea. All right, well, I'm going to actually get about here so I can peek around okay. that corner through him. Okay. And uh, stealth, stealth it up again. Go ahead and roll stealth. I'm going to fail this when it matters. Uh, 14. Okay. You get a good look inside the room. And this is just as icy. I mean, you see these three alcoves. And, uh, so looking into the main grotto here.
that's the wrong room entirely. I need to scroll down to 12. No wonder I got so confused there. Yeah, three alcoves in the room. They're all completely iced in. So these are all filled up with ice. We have no use for those. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing. I can't see anything besides the dude in the, in the oh, ice pillar. Oh, you, you see something. Give me a second, though. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, you see another pillar further on in the room. And, of course, it spawned way back here. That's not where I get hand out. Whoop. You see another pillar on the opposite side of the room. And this one is also encasing a creature, but it's not a human. It's um, a, a grisly, just horribly ugly, old, old woman with, like, bony limbs and just uh, saggy features and scraggly hair. She, too, is completely unclothed. It's the most horrific sight you've ever seen in your life. But right, she right. she's encased in this ice, but she has a look of tranquility on her. And you can see in the room, as you look in, there seem to be pinholes of light pouring in from the ceiling. It looks like sunlight coming down in. And where the sunlight intersects with the uh, the two pillars actually creates an arc between the two, like so. Hmm. Alrighty. Um, well, I, I keep relaying all this good information back behind me. I'm and a scout right now, apparently. You are. Well, that's your that's your role. You are you're the rogue. Yep. So yeah. Adrian. I, I, but no I mean, at this point, we can pretty much talk, too, because, like I said, stealth sort of out the window. Actually, you can't relay anything. To, oh, to Terran, you can. Yes, okay. I thought... To, I'm relaying to Terran. I'm still gotcha. relaying only because I don't trust that there isn't something... Well, that you're I'm hiding, so it makes sense yeah. for you. Yeah, the rest I'm hiding. Talk. I'm, cool. I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah, so it is Adric. Adric's gonna come back up around over here. He would see see this uh, see this grisly scene over here and just be like, "Wow, okay." It is pretty grisly. He wants to see the butt. It's a nice butt. Oh, it's a, oh this butt. Let me tell you about this butt, man. Like <laughs> on a scale of one to butt, this here is a butt. You know what I'm saying? A butt point butt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eldo. Um, no, just kind of just looking around in there and. <laughs> trying to keep people behind him and <laughs> what a yeah. wimp Fred I, could, uh, I could fireball that that ice block there you could, uh, could melt it. I think we want to save that well, <laughs> since we're we looking some at, better idea and since but, we're looking at the dude's ass we might want to get a look at his face before yeah, we that's uh, what I, was gonna I don't understand how could that action. be a and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make it a point not to move into this. Well, you, you don't have you don't have a turn yet. You don't have a turn yet. Oh. Hold on, move back. Eldove, when you move into uh, range, you see the man, the armless man in the ice block. That is very clearly the pert, supple ass of Prince Humberth. <laughs> he has been encased in this block, and he wow. looks like he's in agony. Well, he's missing an arm, right? Uh, he's missing an arm. Yes. So that's. I'm going to uh, actually use up the rest of my turn then with okay. the dash because I'm going to run up there and Fair enough. Uh, I'm freaking out a little bit. A little bit. Okay, and then Fred moves up behind you. Yell out Prince Humberth. He doesn't respond. He's encased in an ice block. <laughs> but just to be clear, everybody, just to be clear, it is now canon that Dove can recognize Prince Humberth's ass <laughs> on sight. <laughs> Just so we all know that. <laughs> See, I thought I we already like, knew that. <laughs> I mean, this is not an ass you all are like to forget. Okay. <laughs> Terry. I mean, see has... why we needed to rescue him then. I just assumed he had some sort of golden birthmark or some shit. It, it, it was a fantastic, it was a fantastic Do, I, do I recognize the person in the other ice block? No, in fact, she doesn't even look human. She, You don't know what she looks like. She uh, is I'll just this over. grisly old woman. So Fred already took his turn, right? That's why. Yeah, Fred just moved up behind you guys. All right, I'll move over and I'll kind of put my shoulder, my hand on uh, Eldov's shoulder and say, "Well, we'll get him out of this. I think we should in investigate the rest of the cavern first, though, and make sure that it's safe. Okay. In worst case, we'd have to carry him out and maybe thaw him in the daylight. I don't know. This isn't my department of magic. Zook. Um. 
I'm gonna just just to be thorough. I'm gonna move in here. As you not... move in, I'm gonna say in your head, do not step across that sunbeam. Oh, <laughs> trust me. I already determined that that seems like a bad idea. But I'm gonna move right about here okay. and um, take up my turn to just investigate, search for anything else to notice about the room. Roll perception or investigation, whichever you have that's higher. 